Uh, I am Phil Mudge uh, here at the Cactus Club Cafe. I'm the chef slash regional chef of this location. Hiring staff in this industry, the restaurant business is extremely competitive. So finding staff, hiring staff, and retaining staff is the largest challenge that we run into in this business. Hi finding high level staff is really difficult as well. And also the training costs that are involved in, in hiring and uh, bringing new staff in because there's a fair bit of turnover generally in the restaurant business. Uh, you're constantly bringing in new staff, getting them up to speed. It usually takes at least a couple, if not three or four shifts to kind of get somebody ready to go to step up and actually take on a position and be a working member of the team. So oftentimes what happens is you need to bring somebody in. There's a huge cost in getting them up to speed in, sort of, in terms of training. Youth hiring. So bringing in people that have no experience is quite challenging because this job can be quite complex at times. So what happens is if uh, you have somebody with zero, very little experience or, or has no experience, getting them up to speed in a lower level position in our business, is, it can be quite overwhelming. So the challenge I, I find in this business mostly is trying to find people with experience. When you have people that don't have experience, it just takes them a little longer to catch up. Kaleidoscope is great for two reasons. One is that they help us recruit. So one of the biggest challenges is finding people that are interested in working in the restaurant business. So as uh, Kaleidoscope can find inter interested parties, connect them with us, and it is a recruiting tool for us, finding people so that we don't have to go out there and find them. So we've hired two people through Kaleidoscope. Both are still continuing to work with us. Uh, one, he's a gentleman who knows uh, how to do fry now. He's been on the app side, working through the app station. Really difficult, high pace station. Uh, uh, he came to us with very little experience in the restaurant business uh, and he's been he's worked out fantastic he's uh, hard working he does a great job um, and uh, the whole process of bringing him on board has been great and what we're looking for I mean we've had some time to spend some time talking about what our profile for people that will work out for us and the two people that we've been given have been fantastic so there's a support network for recruiting the single most obviously being able to uh, have that uh, partner and pay them half the wage and ha know that half of their wage is going to be paid for for the first three months. I mean, that's a fantastic benefit to us uh, as a business that works on the pennies and cash flow is very, very tight in a restaurant. Um, having that um, support is fantastic. Uh, it's great. Um, the, in both of the, of the situations that we've had with Tim and, and Dwight coming on board here, we've been approached with a potential candidate. We've met the candidate, we've hired the candidate, and they've come on board. So we haven't had to really sift through any potential candidates that weren't of profile. We've been really lucky to have people that were targeted that would work out for us specifically for our needs, and it's been 100% useful so far. Hi, my name is Timothy Reyes, and uh, I work here at Richmond Cactus Club. And I'm a fry cook. If a competitor or a colleague of mine was asking whether Kaleidoscope was a good company to align themselves with, I would definitely recommend Kaleidoscope. They have done a fantastic job for us recruiting uh, the right profile uh, staff for us, uh, and we've had some great success with them so far. The youth today, um, I find a lot of the time the youth today are impatient with their development and their training. Uh, they want everything now. Uh, so my suggestion to the youth of today is that, you know, uh, trades are about time served. You know, you're not going to rush through a trade. You have to work the certain amount of hours to get through the trade. So the issue that you run into when you get into this business is if you're in a hurry, you're going to have a real tough time. So, you know, to me, it's about patience. So have patience, enjoy the journey, uh, be prepared that it's going to be a lot of hard work. I started with the restaurant business in high school. I was in grade 11, summer of grade 11, grade 12 uh, break. And uh, I started at, at this particular restaurant here in Richmond um, uh, as a dishwasher. And uh, at the time it was a job just to make some money. Uh, I knew that I wanted to be in business so I ended up going off to SFU while I was in school. Um, I worked here full time. I was learning more about business working in this business than I was going to school for business. So I decided to take a year off. Uh, with that year off I really enjoyed what I was doing with the restaurant business. So in my career, I'm a little less hands-on today than I used to be. Obviously, I, I can still cook. That's still a passion of mine. I really enjoy the passion of cooking. Uh, but to me, it's about people development. It's about seeing young uh, talent come through the ranks and really master the art of cooking and, and working in a business. Um, and the business side of this, uh, this organization is what's really drawn draw me to stick around and, and really enjoy it. I like about this work placement is like, I love serving people food. Like, I like how I get positive feedback through what I create through that it makes me feel happy serving people. But gaining confidence because before I was a really introvert person and through that uh, I gained some, some experience and I had to find a job 
and how to communicate with people. Uh, just be yourself and look for something that you really like to do and be passionate about it. It's not a lot of people are passionate to what they want to do in life. Some of them are being forced to like do things that they don't want to do in the first place and yeah, just be happy. My favorite thing to do here is like creating food for people. It's like the main basis of being cooked. It's enjoying like just seeing people happy to the food that you serve. It's like makes me feel great about it. My most memorable moment here at Cactus Club is ser serving Rob Feeney. Rob Feeney is uh, one of the contenders in Top Chef in America, and he's the first Canadian to win the Iron Sh Top Chef. In general, like, it's pretty great. Like I love working here. Uh, you get you get you gain experience from other people. They give you advice, and yeah. Just be enthusiastic, just be like, be yourself and uh, just just show your passion to cooking because like not a lot of people take, take it as what it is, like they just think it's cooking, it's more than cooking, you have to be really passionate about what you do and just hard, hard work and it pays off. Thank <laughs> you.